So guys, I've had an idea for a video for a minute now. Um, as a single soldier E4, these thingies, these thingies, E4 in the military. Um, here on Ford when I've been thinking about why I cannot afford a car. So I had a really good idea as part of my 2020 resolution, I guess you can call it, to get a plan as far as my goals, to just write them down and to see which goals I'm actually contributing more time to. So I went to the PX and I bought this whiteboard and I, I'm just gonna show you guys what kind of plan we came up with our savings goal for this year, um, how much we can save per year per the, by the goal, how much we got in our debit by the end of this goal, and our bills, how much we give to other bills such as phone company, music, or internet, whatever it is you guys pay for for the year. And we're gonna make this budget fit into our 2020 plan and see how well or how not well we can afford to have a vehicle this year. Let's go. All right, here we go. This is my crappy little desk. That's where I come up with everything. This is the board we bought today, this morning, actually. This is numbers. I hope you guys do this, but just write down your numbers. Just rewrite them over and over and over. And that helps me create a new budget. This is the goals, things that I want to take care of this year. But what if you know what? We'll work on that later. Right now, I'm going to go over some payments, let you guys know exactly what I'm getting paid. So, as of now, in February of 2020, my check came back 975.53. Now, for the purpose of the budget, I round down to 950, just because I needed to pick a number that I knew my check could never come back any lower than. Because in between creating this budget, I was actually a PFC, so my check was nine. I want to say about 958 to 959 per check. So to compensate for my budget and never having to need any more money we're just going to take a lower number so we're just make that 950. i'm an e4 i'm single in 2020. um i'm in a friend's house right now but other than this i live in a barracks uh they take bs for the barracks which is like you no know, peak bh for the barracks like nine eight bucks or whatever and B A B A S. they take money so i gotta go to the defect all that good stuff so as far as budgeting um i guess you consider a prime example of a regular soldier living in the military. Now, our savings goal for this year, crazy or not, is $16,000. Now, in order to do uh, in order to do this, we got to put away $666.70 every 2 weeks into our savings account every month. So, we're going to times that by 2 for the entire month to get us 1300. See the whole number right here? Now, what I did was, that's per month, we're gonna times that by the entire year, which is giving us our entire amount of $16,000.80 per year. Crazy? No, it's actually possible, all right? 950, this is our regular paycheck, or actually, real quick, what I usually do is to make this 950, I'll just take away any extra money I have to bring it down, and we're gonna send all the extra money to an account that I call my future spending account. I'm not gonna go over that now, but there's a reason I have it like that. And we're going to figure that out later. So we're going to take our debit money, subtract that by our savings. This is this is what you have, like uh, well, check money, savings money. I call this my debit money. This is the money I have to spend every two weeks until I get my next paycheck, all right? So after I get paid, I take out of my savings, and then this leaves me with $283.30. This is every single two weeks. So... We're gonna time this by the month, and that gives us $566.60. Come over here, that's every month. This is what you have after you put money into your savings to give you your 200 bucks, right? And take that, that gives you your 566 for the entire year. This means you have now survived on $6,799 for the entire year. That's how you make that happen. Now, you save 16,000, you spent close to 7,000, but where are your bills? You have your savings, you have, well, no, you have your savings and you have the month money you spent and we know how much you're getting paid. So real people have bills, right? I am what you would call an extreme minimalist. So my bills may not be what everyone else's is. And on Fort Irwin, you don't need a lot of bills. You don't, well, you don't need that anywhere, but especially here, and I'm gonna go over this. These are my bills. Boom, I only pay two things, my phone. 
So just FYI, I do have an iPhone 11. That's what I'm recording this video on too, by the way. This is a iPhone 11, not a Pro Max, nothing, none of all that stuff. This is like the $700 one, whatever. So with that phone under AT&T, I pay $76.68. That's every month. I actually got this number down. It was like 90, I want to say nine, first it was 93 and then I got it down to 92. But I was using an unlimited plan that was like 60 bucks and whatever. Point is, I didn't need an unlimited plan because I only used like 13 gigs as opposed to 20 to 24. So just pick the plan that didn't require so much. All right, music. This is Apple Music. I pay that for five bucks a month. That is because I'm also a student registered for school. We're going to be starting school hopefully this year, very soon. So with just these two alone, I pay $81.68 a month. To these bills i'm not including food i mean yeah de facto eat there for free so that counts but I'm talking about snacks for mission or you just want to buy food or go out and have fun i'm not including those as bills all of that is going to come out of the 283 every two weeks so that's why my bills are things that have to be paid if i want to have a phone and communicate and be on time for work and do all these things i need a phone music I don't know. If I wasn't a student, maybe I'll be paying 10 bucks a month instead. But for now, we're going to do the five bucks. And this is what it is, right? That's one of those enjoyments. I call it. It's fun for me. So we have our music, have our phone bill. So for the entire year, we pay 980 bucks and 16 cents per year. That's how much anybody else is getting. That's all they're getting. So this is the budget. That is how much you save how much you get paid, and how much you give to your savings account, how much money you have left over times that by your two week period. This is how much money you should have left over at the end of each month. For the entire year, that's six grand. These are your bills. This is how much you pay out by the entire year, that's 680 bucks. I think I made that simple enough. Now we're gonna move on to why well, cannot afford a car. Over here, the car I want is a 2017 Mustang GT. I looked at some different ones, a lot of other ones, but I really do like this one. I want it to be manual, and I want it grabber blue, and I wanted a lot of awesome things for it. But look, Kelly Blue Book says 23,000 is the low end, 26,000 is the high end. You should probably be aiming at 25. Personally, I like the idea of the $23,000 car. I think that would be better, although I only make that much a year. And your car's not supposed to cost you over what you make half a year. So this this already kind of throws the car out. But if I'm going to drive, it will be the car that I want to have. And we'll just create a goal to make that happen. Or we'll create a budget and just have a whole bunch of money and still decide to get like a nice little beater or something. So this is my actual numbers right here. Navy Federal Credit Union, that's what the NFCU stands for. They approved me 21950 Only asked for like 19000 they actually approved me for a little bit more than what I wanted. That was at 4.74%. By the way, I am 24 years old. I am still am. So I was 24, year old, 24 years old when I asked for this loan. And that was for the, the, um, for the course of 72 months. Now, the price I'd have to pay for this loan would have been $351.09 per month. Geico wanted $145.70 per month to insure me. This was not... This was not um, full coverage and it was the lowest that I can get from uh, I think I called them I called State Farm I called USAA USAA I have an account with them too that didn't really didn't really help me with them though um, but Geico was the lowest one I had so I'm just gonna add these two together right that's gonna give us 496 bucks 779 cents a month just for this car that's it they're gonna times that by the year let me see how much I, I'm really paying for this car. This is not including gas. This isn't like, let's say you want a H or X pipe. If you want some new headers, if you want, well, um, GT, so that's premium fuel. Let's see if you want new tires for it. If you want a new hood, if you want to get a wrap, because I want mine in grabber blue. It's the most beautiful color in my opinion, but eventually I would want to get my car wrapped. This number is going to be higher at the end of the year, especially if you are not disciplined, you cannot control your spending, but yeah, this is what it's like. That's my extreme stupid savings goal. Last year wasn't that high, but we did so good, I decided to boost it up a little bit. This is what works and don't work for me.
I'm fine with living off that a year, but I'm not fine with giving away damn near $6,000 to somebody else. I can break that down better, but yeah. So yeah, there's my, there's my savings goal. There is the car that I want and why I can't afford it. Now, one thing I also need to point out, this goal, I guess, is more aimed at military people because most people have housing. They got to pay rent. They got to afford children. I'm, I am don't I don't do any of those things. OK, um, this is Fort Irwin. So on this post, I live you live probably six minutes max away from anywhere you work. Um, if you don't leave posts very much, you don't care to do a lot of things. It's very easy to just live on this post and call yourself being comfortable where I'm in a position where I luckily don't need a car and I don't got to pay three, four, almost $500 a month to own something like that. So, um, I'm open to answer any questions. If you guys need help with anything, if you guys just have a whole bunch more questions about Fort Irwin, I think I know a lot about that. I've been a year, I've been here a year and nine months now. I joined on April 10th of 2017, 17, 18. I think it was, I think it was 18. Um, other than that, I enjoyed the post. I think it isn't that bad. I got my, uh, braces here. I have to move my teeth here. So <laughs> we'll be getting that. We're working on that. But right now, working on our savings budget. Hope that helped you guys. Peace.